Hello everyone, this is Pamela from Design Wishes by Pamela here to share with you my design project for the hashtag G45 album challenge for the month of March. For this challenge, I used the Graphic 45 Baby to Bride collection. I used the Deluxe uh, Collector's Edition that came with the chipboard elements and the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Gorgeous paper, uh, beautiful colors, love the graphics, perfect for the project I envisioned. I also used uh, quite a bit of florals from Prima Marketing Inc. This is the packaging from the larger flowers here. I used some of the Cerise uh, 49th and Market uh, Vintage Shades Potpourri uh, florals that I got at a Scrap and Create retreat um, last October. Thank you Daphne and Julie. And I also used some of the crystals from the Amber Moon uh, collection from Prima Marketing. They are just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have to get some more because you can see I'm running out. So let's go ahead and get started. As I said, this is a rotating uh, pyramid explosion album. And I used a 4-inch uh, Lazy Susan base to mount um, the album box on it. You can see some of the beautiful flowers here as they catch the light and some of the glitter. This one's one of my favorite flowers and it matches really well with the papers from Graphic 45. You, um, you can see that I did leave this open here so that you can stick a journaling card or a little photo right in there or maybe a, a gift tag if you want in each one of the panels so they're open on each one of the panels there to keep the explosion box closed i made a little triangular topper and i used a bobble from tim holtz collection i believe it's called bobbles and there's a variety of sizes this is one of the larger bobbles and then I used a smaller bobble. I know you can't see that. There you go. I used a smaller bobble on the inside. And then I used some of the Prima um, acrylic paints and paste to paint the inside of the box. And I matted every, um, every one of the triangle shapes there on the top. Uh, I did use tea dye Distress Ink from Tim Holtz and Ranger on all of the edges of the chipboard and the majority of the edges on each of the page elements. The outside triangles are all made with chipboard. I used gesso um, all over and then I distressed it with the tea dye um, distress ink. So the chipboard pieces of the album come out like this and I'm going to try to show you each page and again I'll change the angle. So what I used is a lot of the cut aparts here. This is a sticker element. There's two photo mats here. And again, I'm going to I'm going to change the angle of the camera. I'm just going to give you an overall um, with this segment. I added pockets to the inside triangles so that some of the cutouts like this little beautiful little tag here could fit inside and I made this one a little photo mat there. And let me turn this one around. Here's another little photo mat here made out with one of the cut, cut aparts. And then I took a cut apart and made a booklet out of it. And then I used the stickers to put the word love on one of the inside um, covers of the little booklet. And then some grow grain ribbon. I had it untied to make it easy when I do the video. And then there's another one on this side as well. And I did mat that um, too. And then I add some of the 49th and Market um, flowers at the top of each of those triangles. And then the inside of the second pages, I used a belly band on this one and made two tags. And oh, by the way, I used a Martha Stewart punch to do the corners of my my little tags here. I just love this punch. I've had it for such a long time and it's, it's just very delicate and, and pretty. So it lent to this design very well. 
on um, this arm of the album, I fussy cut some of the paper and I layered it so that a tag can go inside. And you can see how I distressed my cardstock there with the tea dye. On this side, I used the lady sticker and I mounted it on a two inch circle and then I used my scallop edge rosette stamp from Stampin' Up and I kept it open so that two tags can fit on the inside just like that and be held up. On the inside triangle, I used a sticker element here. I double matted it and then I popped it up on a foam square um, just for some dimension. On this side, I used one of the chipboard elements here. I made a little photo um, mat and the photo corners were all cut out uh, from a silhouette uh, cut file. Again, I repeated the little photo mat here with the with the uh, photo corners. Here I used a, a sticker element and I double matted it. I think I might have even triple matted it. But, um, and then I popped it up on some foam squares so this could set there. You can actually add a photo to that. On the last triangle, I this was a larger piece, but what I did was I cut it apart and I did some fussy cutting and I shrunk it in to fit within the width of my triangle here. And then I turned it into a pocket. I had some ivory tags and so I took some of the sticker border element and I just wrapped it around the ivory tags and then I again distressed it with some of that tea dye um, distressing. And then it opens to the center part of the album. I'm trying to get all of this album on here again. Um, I made some pocket, um, some pockets using a Martha Stewart punch, and I flipped it upside down so that the straight edge becomes the pocket insert, and then the border part becomes a part of the design. And you can see how that's replicated. I made little tags again for each one of the pockets, use some of the sticker elements on each of the pocket um, fronts, and again, embellished with some of the amber moon crystals from Prima. On the very bottom or center of the Explosion album, I took a cut apart and matted it. I left one side uh, open so that three tags or three photo mats all fit inside that tag. You actually can fit quite a few photos in this tag here, in this little um, cut apart right here. So these are different sizes and they fit right inside of this element. I took a vellum envelope and I used one of the stickers here, the ampersand, and then I used a tiny, 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 tiny sticker uh, from the collection and then I made a little card here that you could put a photo you could put a message in the vellum envelope and that makes a nice little pocket you could even put a gift card in there if you wanted to uh, it just adds a little uh, finishing touch to the album so there you have it this view of the explosion album and i'm going to change the camera view so you could see it from from a better angle okay everyone i'm going to try to show this without tipping the whole thing over but i wanted to give you some of the close-up detail of the beautiful flowers there the beautiful papers in the collection uh, from graphic 45 some of the crystals you can see there there is that cutout that i made uh, from the packaging, the bri baby to bride. Here's the other side. There's that beautiful flower there that complements the Graphic 45 papers so nicely. And then let me open it up. And I guess I could go in reverse of everything. So there is the center part of the explosion album and you can see 
the detail here where I inverted the Martha Stewart punch so that the border that normally is on the top is on the bottom. And then I left this open, the bottom edge, I flipped it so that it becomes a pocket for tags and photos. There's another angle of it. I'm just gonna keep turning this around. The, these four pages are, are fairly the same. And then when you fold it on the inside, you can see some of the elements here. That's that chipboard piece and the photo mat. That is that sticker element that I popped up on the foam square. This is that page with the two ivory tags. Here is the page with the fussy cutting and of the roses. And you can just stick a tag in there. Here is the page with the belly band. There's plenty of enough room to add even more photos. Here is the page with the beautiful lady. She almost looks like a cameo. And then let me show you an angle of a pocket. Here is a pocket. You can see how I made the pocket to fit the width of the triangle and there's plenty enough room to put more photos or, or um, a gift card in there. And then here is an element of the inside of one of the chipboard sides. So I just took a cut apart, glued it halfway down so that two tags can fit in it. So again, this is my Graphic 45 hashtag G45 album design project. I hope you enjoy it watching this video. If you'd like to see more, please do go to my blog, Design Wishes by Pamela dot wordpress.com i'll put a link to the address in the description box below and you can always follow me on this youtube channel thank you so much and have a good day